UNC members of parliament immorally boycotts new president's inauguration. Opposition leader of the United National Congress follows through with plan and immorally boycotts new president's inauguration. Most opposition UNC senators and MPs won't be attending Monday's inauguration of incoming President Christine Kangaloo, but UNC MP Rushton Perry intends to attend once he receives the formal invitation that was to be seen. Perry confirmed he hadn't received it up to yesterday, however. The inauguration of Kangaloo as TNT's seventh president will take place at the Grand Stand of the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain on Monday morning. Guests must be seated by 9.30 a.m. The actual swearing-in ceremony was between 10 to 10.30 a.m. All members of Parliament have been invited to the function, which will also be attended by the Chief Justice and other dignitaries. Kangaloo succeeds outgoing President Palame Weeks. Former Senate President Kangaloo was nominated as head of state by the Dr. Keith Rowley administration when the Electoral College involving members of the Upper and Lower Houses of Parliament met on January 20. Kangaloo was elected with a total of 48 votes, from government, independent senators and the House Speaker. The opposition, which had stated it didn't support an active politician for president, had instead nominated senior counsel Israel Khan. The UNC senators and MPs comprised a total of 25 votes. But in the results, there were 22 votes for Khan with three spoiled ballots. No one on the opposition side has accepted responsibility for the three spoiled ballots. Government members and independent senators are all expected to attend Monday's inauguration. Yesterday, opposition leader Kamla Persabisessor didn't reply to emailed query on if she'll attend the function. UNC Chairman MP Dave Tanku said, There is no policy by the party to attend or not. The policy is that the leader has left it to the discretion of members to attend if they wish to or not. I've made up my mind I'm not attending. No replies came from UNC Deputy Leaders Rudal Munilal. David Lee, or Jirlian John, and Kamuto MP Dr. Rai Ragbur. But a number of other UNC MPs, Barry Paderaf, Dr. Rishad Sicharan, Rodney Charles, and others, confirmed non-attendance to the TNT Guardian. It was also confirmed that UNC senators won't attend either. Paderaf said, I don't support an active politician being president, pretending to be impartial. Hence, refuse to be part of that obscenity. Maruga MP Michelle Benjamin said wherever her leader was, she'd be there. Tabakith MP Anita Haynes said she was unable to attend, since she has a distribution of SEA packages that day, marking Monday's International Day of Happiness. However, Mayaro MP Pere said he'd received an email from the Office of the President, OTP, three weeks ago to indicate if he'd attend. I responded positively via email, as an invitation was to follow. I emailed the OTP on Tuesday asking about the invitation and procedure for Monday. But I have received no response as of today, Friday at 3.19 p.m. But I'll go if I get the invitation, Perry added. Perry didn't answer query if he'd feel comfortable attending when UNC didn't support Kangaloo for president. The opposition United National Congress is maintaining there was no boycott of the inauguration ceremony for President Christine Kangaloo at the Queen's Park Savannah, Port of Spain, yesterday. This despite the fact that no opposition members were visibly present at the inauguration, although they would have all been invited as members of the opposition. Contacted yesterday, UNC Public Relations Officer, Pro, Dr. Kirk Mayhew said he wasn't aware of any opposition member attending the inauguration.